from what I understand, the stereotype of most motel people are the transient, basically just street people. People who don't really have anything, they're dirty, they get a few bucks from a bumming, then they get a room, they tear it up. We were living at my parents' house and actually in their fifth wheel, and they needed back to go to the cowboy streets and stuff, so we was like, well, the situation's up. We had like two days to find some place to go, and home sweet home. In spite of living like this, he's a smart little guy. Mm -hmm. But he gets fed up with being cooped up in there because I, I don't let him out often. Mm -hmm. you know, unless I'm out there and I got a little free time and I can be out there. Yeah. Do you not feel safe with him out there? Well, no, would you? Do you feel safe coming here at night or, you know, you feel safe? My tenants feel safe during the day and at night only because they know they can come and get me. My white girlfriend of seven years, Melly and I lived in, we lived in, we've been living in hotels for about three years off and on. And uh, the one we're at right now is not bad. It's not bad compared to what's out there. It's cleaner. The managers are pretty cool. But we've been to the real bad ones uh, along the street, uh, uh, around here. Uh, what's it like living in these things? Well, privacy is something that you give up because you're so close to people. You give up your uh, room as far as you don't. You can't put everything in there that you need to put in there. Uh, other than the, the fact that it's a hotel but it's a roof. The only thing I'm worried about the weekly motel shutting down, if, if they did, uh, like this unit here holds uh, uh, quite a number of people. There would be a lot of people who wouldn't have, uh, who have, let's say, a bad uh, uh, credit rating or uh, don't make enough money. There's a lot of people who are in the category of right around seven, eight hundred dollars a month. So that's everything they get there in their be in their 70s or 80s or whatever it may be. If you shut these places down, the problem is they have nowhere to go. A lot of people are just down on their luck. They they have had actual lives, but things happen. They do have a few a few dollars saved up already, but they need somewhere where they can live. They can't afford their full apartments anymore or their houses whatever their situation had been. So a lot of times, motels, you don't have to pay the first month, the last month, quite often a security deposit. Sometimes there's just like maybe a few dollars for cleaning. So they're almost forced to go to a different city, a different place, or uh, they, they're just not gonna find somewhere that uh, would be acceptable for them to live. So. Yeah, I, I, I'm seriously uh, worried about these people uh, getting shut down. And uh, uh, because uh, I, I believe somebody quoted to me, I don't know if it was uh, when I was at one of the meetings, uh, there's 1,600 seniors living in these places. Uh, and so that's a lot of, uh, and a lot of them are disabled, so that's a lot of people that you're gonna put out on the street. But that's about it. So motels end up being the quick and easy move to, at least I have a roof over my head for me, and whatever my family may be, myself, I have it easy, I have to be alone, just a couple cats, but I've been in Reno for long enough, I know people, they're true. the parents sleep in the bed, the kids sleep in, here's this nice little mat on the floor, they're a lot of times talking with people, they feel bad because they did used to have a they're really not happy about how to raise their young people in a situation that isn't too terribly optimistic. But where the rest of them would go, I, I, don't, I don't even know. There's no place for them to go. There's no housing. Until you guys get that tiny housing going, that will work out really cool. Mm -hmm. 4,000 people live in weekly motels. 1,600 of which have lived there for more than a year, 1,300 of which are seniors, and 300 are children. Action is the first group that I've actually seen that is actually going out into the community and to the places that uh, where these people are, like myself, who do exist, and are trying their best to ascertain ideas, trying to uh, come up with solutions for these problems. If you want more information or would like to meet with me, just email me at aria at action.org. Thank you.